The push to get a vaccine hasn't stopped, even as the case numbers went down and then back up. This morning, members of the faith-based community here in Hampton Roads talked again about how to make the shot numbers go up with some help by a member of the Biden administration. Tenor News side Stephanie Harris has this story for us tonight. Steph. Anita Chris, Reverend Derek Harkins is director of faith based and neighborhood partnerships for HUD, and he has a new message for faith leaders and their flocks. Urgency trumps hesitancy. You are not doing anybody any favors by at this point uh, being hesitant. In fact, the, the damage continues to increase upon our community uh, by by those who are not vaccinated. Vaccine hesitancy remains an issue. Virginia reports 48% of black adults have received at least one dose compared to 54% of whites and 87% of Native Americans. It's still important to be mindful of the causes and the reasons for hesitancy that some people uh, harbor. It is far more important for people to hear now uh, about the urgency of this situation. That situation is a rising number of cases, hospitalizations, and deaths as the more contagious Delta variant spreads. Every time I feel like we're getting somewhere, I feel like we're getting knocked down again. Gaylene Kenoyton oversees Hampton Roads Get Out the Vaccine. At a recent community event with 500 in attendance, she convinced just 15 to take the shot. We know that public and in public housing and in Section 8, those are where our greatest hesitancies are. She asked Harkins what HUD is doing to help. I can wear my, my HUD nameplate all you want uh, and, and try to be impactful there, and that's going to only meet with, uh, with moderate success. Harkins said partnering with local leaders and influencers is more effective. Knoyton's already doing that, promoting an event tomorrow with a popular local DJ. She continues to look for any and every local sporting event or outing to bring the vaccine. This is like a battle. This is truly a battle. Now, Harkin said it is important for local leaders to disassemble the false information circulating in their communities and on social media. He also indicated that there is hope as we're seeing vaccine rates rise in some communities where unfortunately people are again seeing a rise in cases. Anita and Chris. All right, Steph, thanks.